Yeah, so you'll hear two terms a lot now, a lot of ads on the machine to machine and the Internet of Things. They're basically the same thing. It's not only just the Internet of Things where, where machines are, are talking back to humans, it's machines talking to machines. So we're all walking around with smartphones, we're all driving cars with lots of computers in them. You probably today have no less than 15 computers in your house, things that have computer chips in them. Machine to machine is devices talking to each other. So machine to machine, I mean in some sense Johnson Controls has been doing that for years and years and years. We've had, you know, controllers in the, in the ceiling talking to equipment in the basement and coordinating the heating and cooling of the space for a long time. So in, in a lot of ways, that's machine to machine. Where it's going to go is equipment is going to ship with smarts on it. There's several companies, including ours, working on projects around that. When a rooftop unit that's on top of this building to cool this building shows up, it's going to be smart and it's going to start talking to the rest of the building, not only about whether it's being efficient or not, whether it's in need of maintenance or repair, whether a weather condition is making it a problem for it to operate effectively, that's where the machines will start to talk to each other. I always use the example of like this room, for example, with the windows, right? So the sun comes in in the windows and it starts heating the room up. Well, the sensors in the room can talk to the window shades to lower, to cool the, the room down without actually having to kick in more air and use more energy to do so. But it's really about getting that data looking at it in different ways, seeing correlations that you may not have seen before, and, and again, helping people to optimize the performance, optimize the cost. That's what machine to machine, you know, and, and the future of technology will allow us to do.